Yo, 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 balloon friends, what's up? It's me, Eddie Bath, AKA Mr. Majikio, coming at you from Tokyo, Japan. Today, we're gonna be making this awesome Sonic the Hedgehog balloon character. The balloon list is in the description, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, guys, in today's sculpture, we're gonna be using this geometrical shape. It's extremely useful with all different kinds of animals and characters. Uh, it's basically like a diamond shape. You can see we've got a triangle here, a triangle here, a triangle here, a triangle here, and a triangle here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's an eight-sided uh, <clears throat> shape. With this, we're going to have it for the bridge of the nose. This is going to be the side of the head. This is going to be the cheeks. And this is going to be the underside of the head. This works great for foxes, for lions, for cats, anything like this. You can put a little muzzle on here uh, and then you can put extra bits on. Uh, but today we're going to be using it for our Sonic. Now with more complicated balloon structures, uh, a good idea is to plan the line of your balloon before you start. Uh, a good way to practice this with this is the Santa's house problem, uh, a fun game that you can play with kids. Uh, get a pen and paper and you can try it now at home. If you don't wanna see the answer, push pause on the video. Uh, okay, I'll show you how. So when we're planning the root of our balloon, we don't wanna double back on ourselves. So we're gonna come up, we're gonna go over, we're gonna go down, we're gonna come down here, and then we're gonna cross and we've managed to complete our Santa's house problem. So that is correct. All right, guys, for his head structure, you're gonna need a 260 blown up with about a two hand tail. We're gonna be doing quite a lot of twists in this, so make sure your tail is nice and long. We're going to start with a one and a half finger bubble followed by a one finger pinch twist. All right, now we're going to start working on his cheek. So I'm going to do a three finger bubble for one cheek, a three finger bubble for the other cheek, and then followed by another pinch twist. This is gonna be the front of his head and this little bit down here is gonna come down and be one of the sides of his neck. Now I'm going to repeat that on the back for the back of his head with slightly smaller bubbles. So that's just gonna be a two finger bubble followed by another two finger bubble locked into that pinch twist. So what we have here is a shape like this and this little bit here is gonna join up later okay now what we can do is do the top of the head so we have cheek cheek pinch twist back of the head back of the head and another pinch twist now i'm going to do the side of his head with about a two and a half finger bubble i'm going to do a one finger bubble pinch twist for the top of his head and i'm going to come back down the other side with another two finger bubble for the other side of his head so now we have cheek cheek pinch twist back of the head back of the head pinch twist and now we have the top of his head now what we're going to do is we're going to come under and make his neck area i'm going to match this little scraggly piece here with this balloon and then i'm going to join them together now i've done this i'm going to come up the back of the head with the rest of the balloon i'm going to do another one inch bubble come across there another one inch bubble Tie that into the pinch twist at the top of the head. And now we have this shape for the back of the head. Turn that around and now we've got the front. These are his cheeks again. This is gonna be his neck. This is the side of his head and this is going to be his nose. So I'm going to come down with his nose and with that final part of the balloon, I'm going to tie it into the bottom of his neck. So we should now have a structure that looks like this. Okay, for his nose, we're going to take a scrap of black, which I've uh, tied tightly on itself to get this kind of bean shape. And then I'm just going to put that into the front of his face, like so. The front of the face and the back of the head look very similar, but the front of the face, uh, these two uh, cylinder twists here should be slightly bigger because we're going, we want to give him this big muzzle, uh, curved muzzle look. All right, so we've got his nose. Now we know which way is up and which way is down. Let's take a blush blown up about two thirds of the way and we're just going to connect that blush into one of the pinch twists. And now I'm going to fold it along over the line where the nose is into the other pinch twist, like so. Now the nose is hiding, but we can still we can just pull that out. 
Okay, now we're going to try and use the rest of this balloon for his tummy, so we'll snap that off and keep it. And we'll work with that in a minute. All right, so you can see the beginning of the face is already starting to come together. Next, let's take uh, a white round for the eyes. We're gonna take a five inch round, blow it up uh, pretty small for this one, about the size, half the size of a baseball. Uh, tie the knot quite close to the balloon, and then we're going to split that in half. So those are going to be the eyes. We're gonna take the eyes and we're going to just push them behind this nose joint. Okay, next let's add the eyebrows uh, and the ears uh, and the spikes for his hair. We'll take our blue 160 blown up with about a three, four finger tail. We're gonna try and get quite a bit out of this balloon. Uh, again, let's re remember where we need to start. If we start here and we do the eyebrows down like this, then we're gonna have to go back on ourselves. So let's start at the top. All right, we're gonna start at the top and I'm gonna give him one ear. And the ear is gonna be about a hand and another hand's worth. And now I'm gonna come down to that pinch twist in the side of his head there. Now we're going to go over the eye, into the nose and back over the eye to the other pinch twist. This is probably the most important bit of the balloon. Because Sonic the Hedgehog, the most important thing about him is these kind of gnarly eyebrows he has, which uh, makes him look pretty badass and uh, everyone knows he means business. All right, so you can shape these later. These are the eyebrows coming into this uh, nose joint here. So we've got the ear coming down, we've got eyebrow into the nose joint, back over the eye, and now let's finish his other ear, which again is about a hand and another hand's worth, and then we'll come back into the pinch twist at the top. All right, so we've got his ears, we've got his eyebrows, and conveniently this blue 160 is still in the middle of his head, which means we can give him a big spike like that. And so we'll take the spike and we'll put it into this joint on the back of the head here. Now to connect that in, we could thread it through, but I think I'm just gonna do a little pinch twist and then wrap that in. Oops. So I'll take this pinch twist and wrap it into the back of the head. With this extra bit of balloon you've got at the back, you can just snap that off or you could just twist it in for an extra spike. Uh, it's up to you. For his body, you're gonna take a 360 blue and we're going to do two pinch twists in that. And we're gonna attach the head to this later and the arms are gonna come out the side. Let's take this bit of blush that we have left over from his muzzle, tie that in. Now, we don't want to make Sonic too, uh, too tall and lanky. He's actually got quite a small body. I'm going to make the back slightly longer than the front. So I'm gonna, maybe the front's going to be about a hand and the back's going to be about a hand a bit. Uh, and then you're going to just snap these off and tie them together. For his arms, we're going to take a 260 blown up uh, almost all the way and we're going to twist off about two hands uh, for one of his arms and now let's put that into these pinch twists we've got here from the body. Twist that in, match it on the other side. Now we're going to twist this off and let's save this because we can use it for the legs. So we've got his arms and we're just gonna put his legs in through the bottom here. We'll just thread those through, twist halfway. For his shoes, you're gonna need a red 260 blown up about halfway and a white 260 blown up with about a four finger tail. 
What we're going to do is we're going to do a one finger pinch twist, followed by a three finger cylinder twist, followed by another three finger cylinder twist, and then we just lock that back in. So you've got this. Now we're going to take the red, lock it into that pinch twist. Now just follow this around. Now we're going to snap off the rest of the white. Do not throw that away because we can use that for the other shoe. And if you try really hard, you probably get two hands out of it as well. Depends on how economical you want to be. Snap that off and we're going to keep that for the second shoe as well. For his hands, we'll just make some simple uh, little mittens. So we we'll just do uh, two pinch twists followed by a three finger pepper twist. Like so, and then we'll make another one of those. Right now we should have uh, two shoes and two sets of mittens, and now we can attach these to the body. Lastly, we can attach the head into these pinch twists here. We have this little nozzle left over from where we very first started on that head structure, and we're just going to wrap that into the pinch twist here. And our Sonic is almost done. Let's just do the artwork for the eyes. Okay, for his eyes, we're gonna give him some black pupils like so, and then I will leave a little circle and another little circle there for the sun splashes. And the same on this side. We'll give him a little cheeky smile like this. All right, and those eyebrows are really working for him there as well. Let's give him uh, some irises too. Look like green on the outside. And Added bonus is the Edding pen. These are gold dust, I love these. Uh, don't think I could do without them. We just put this on here for the sun splash. I know we left a little bit of white space, but we can also overlap onto the, um, the green color as well to make it really look like it's uh, the sun is shining. All right, he's got that cheeky look. So we are basically done, but there is one bonus you can add uh to this sonic and that is his ring because he loves running around collecting all those rings uh spinning around so let's add a ring for the ring we'll just use a golden rod 160 with about two hand tail blown up uh we're just going to thread it in his mitt there just so that comes out and then we can come around and meet it here Trim that off. Okay, and obviously this joint looks a little bit messy, so we can just hide that inside his hand. To finish your Sonic off, you can just give him a little bit of shaping. Uh, if you do some shock twists on the knees, that's where you fold the balloon like that, and then you just give it a pinch, and then you can see that now we've got this little bent uh, shape. Now this kind of looks like he's jumping or doing some kind of karate kick or something there. Uh, we can do that on the arms as well. You can readjust your eyebrows to make, every, make sure everything's in the right place, really bring those down. All right, that is the Sonic and he's, look, he's looking good there. Uh, now a few points. There are some much better hands you can do like that. Uh, I made one previously with his hands going like, yo, dude. Uh, and also his shoes are one of his main characteristics. So I'm a bit disappointed that I couldn't do anything more fancy than that. But um, for a quick, relatively quick Sonic, I think that'll do. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you again. Take care.